Since the beginning of time, music has been recognized as a form of art and expression. Sad songs reflect sad emotion. Happy songs project happy emotions. Instruments like pianos are now being questioned on to whether they hold ground in the scientific community as psychological stimulants. It was once said that a man who had become deaf was able to listen to music every second of the day by closing his eyes. Music is transmitted to the brain. Who's to say that music can't be created from memory? Either way, music is in our blood. It is the expression of emotion just as we see in this man's face here. Hi, my name is Irfan. Stop it. Um, we're filming um, an interview or a documentary about music. You already heard that. Um, we're trying to find viewpoints of different music, why people like certain type of music, why they hate certain type of music. I don't like music that has a lot of like screaming. <laughs> you know, that's just not totally my type of, uh, of jam, <laughs> if you will. Uh, Russell, do you have any screamo? Play some. Oh, uh, no, no, he's not actually going to play some. <laughs> Why do you hate it? I don't necessarily say hate it. I just don't connect with it as much. I mean, I can't really picture going out on stage and just screaming my head off and making me that song that music. <laughs> okay. Not, not my type of thing. <laughs> yeah. So far, we got people that love metal and love country. But the problem is, the people that love metal, they hate country. And the people that love country, they hate metal, so it's like a conflicting battle between those two music. Metal is pretty much the distortion of a voice, so like, it could be like anything from like screaming to yelling to growling, just about any form of distortion of the voice. Why do you like screaming, yelling, and growling? I like it because it's not only screaming, yelling, and growling, it's also like people expressing their feelings through music. Playing classical music and, and that uh, does have a certain amount of depth, historical depth as well as theoretical depth. And so that's a really good basis and foundation for understanding music as, at a higher level. If I want to listen to rap, I will, like, that's when I want to, like, dance and have fun. But if I'm at work, I don't listen to rap because it's distracting. If you've noticed the common ground, each music is a personality. Notice the differences in Sean's, Mr. Pandolf's, and Miss P's appearances, character traits, and taste of music. This is not a coincidence. Music is who we are. Genres are not produced from varying instruments, but rather from unique personalities. How do I describe my personality? It really depends on the style of music I'm listening to. Or the, I mean, it's all romantic, but the mood of the music. Some of it is very sad and forlorn, and some of it is very energetic and you feel lifted. That kind of music doesn't make me feel good. How does this make you feel? Honestly, that makes me feel really nervous. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay, yep. What she said is indeed accurate. This study scientifically proves how the brain reacts to distinct musical tones. She listens to the scary music, and her cognitive processes hide in and fear for what the music entitles. However, the peaceful music significantly decreases the amount of fear she previously felt. Our hypothesis proves that since we create music with unique emotions, we can also listen to music and feel those emotions. Heavy metal is fast-paced and invokes fear in several parts of the brain. Some artists, like Marilyn Manson, were so disturbed that developing children began devil cults and participated in school shootings. During the 90s, Marilyn Manson was blamed for the Columbine school shooting because his music was so aggressive and the killers had also been listening to Marilyn Manson music. Metal affects our brain in harmful ways. The, the death metal stuff, I don't know if I've heard any of that. Um, if it's really a violent headbanging, I call it headbanging music. <laughs> I don't fall for that at all. It's kind of like it's kind of like rock, kind of rock. If it, what was it called, death metal? Yeah, okay. metal, death metal. Uh, angry, angry music. I don't have. Um, I have a hard time with angry music, like death to the world kind of stuff. And everyone, everyone is a bad. Everyone's bad, and they should all die. <laughs> that kind of music, I really have a hard. I think that comes from a very different source, because to the people who write it. And like I said, it, it speaks to certain people. I think if you're a very angry person inside. 
you might be listening to very angry music, all right, because it speaks to you. Um, you know, it's like a, you might be in love and love a love song from someone all of a sudden. It's, a, it's very personal. And it is based in psychology because it's based upon what you, everything is psychology, what you want, what you like, what you choose, what you prefer. Those were some wonderful words from our school psychology expert who actually agrees that music can be an outsource of anger as well as an insource. As she said, angry people listen to angry music. Sean, one of our metalheads, actually agrees with this stereotype. Would you say that the form of uh, metal you listen to expresses your feelings? A lot of the times, yes. I'm a very creative person and dubstep is just very imaginative and creative and there's so many different things you can do with it that just captures my imagination. What Clarence says is correct. Like painting, composing music, no matter what type of music it is, it takes creativity. In this study, a student agreed to take an MRI while composing music. The results were shocking when doctors saw his cerebral cortex spike in activity at the very second he touched the instrument. Whether you listen to music or create it, no matter what type of music you listen to, it's biologically healthy for you. Um, I don't like death metal. I don't like music that is depressing. <laughs> I don't like music that has a negative message. It sort of just gives me a, a relaxation, like a moment where I don't have to really care about things and I can just sort of go with the music and you know, relate to it. Is there any type of music you don't like? Uh, country. Oh. <laughs> What's so bad about it? Like, why did you want to say that? It's just, it's just like, stupid. Completely stupid. And I don't care for country music, but I like all of those. Why don't you like country music? Um, they tend to pick stereotypical stories. And it bores me. I like classical, I like rock, I like punk, I like new wave. I mean, like, Lionel Richie's country. Is really? he? That's what they yeah. say. Um, that guy used to be Hootie and the Blowfish. Darius yes, Rucker. Darius country. is country. Really? But now Daughtry gets classified as country and I listen to him all the time. I thought Daughtry was like... I... What you think he was? Like all the time. Daughtry? <laughs> right, everything, everything, like everything, everything, but... everything, like melts into... I hope you're taping. Into everything. I hope you're not taping. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 of course not. Uh, Either way, we keep our schools clean. When was the last time you heard your school teachers actually teaching you how to play metal? Or rap? Or when the band actually played a song with lyrics? Mr. Pandolf and Miss Everson keep the school band appropriate with classical music, perhaps one of the most mentally healthy genres. I would dive into classical art music or symphonic literature or both. Um, we do also, you know, play more popular music, especially during marching band. Uh, but it's important to have that balance also so that we could truly understand different um, historical time frames. And if you think about it, music is really uh, almost like a portrait of, of um, history. I very much enjoy romantic, romantic Roman era music. Yeah. So That's where they started developing different dynamics. And no words. I like a know. renaissance, renaissance maybe classical. Classical, yeah, you guys would consider it classical, yeah, but not Renaissance, because Renaissance, Renaissance, they had this thing called terrorist, not huh. terrorist, but terrorist dynamics, where they'd have one volume, and then the next volume, and then a chunk in one volume, and, you know, and romantic music is where they started melding it together. Yeah, we had our moments, Russell beat up people, Irfan fought Russell, and even though this has nothing to do with music, no matter what type of music you listen to, or how different you are, you still get along and work together. <laughs>